Hi, I'm Justin Del Judas with Greater Connecticut Real Estate. We're getting this house ready to sell and we're doing a drop ceiling. You can see I've done the drop ceiling on this side. But I'm just gonna show you real quick how it's done. Step number one is we're gonna take our laser level. We're gonna mark the ceilings nice and level all around. We'll start hanging our L channels. So it actually helps to work with a partner on this. But you see I have my laser level. I set it right where I wanna hang the L channel. And I'm going to go around and mark in pencil the laser level and I'm going to take it around the wall and start leveling that way. So once I mark this, we're going to start hanging the L channels. Okay, so after we've measured, we're just going to cut the L bracket or the L channel down to size. So I've measured and cut, I've marked it right here. I'm going to do it right with the tin snips. So I'm just going to cut it right before the corner. I'm going to flip it over or come to the other side. Again, cut it right before the corner. And then you just bend it nice and clean off. So I'm gonna bend it and break it away. So we have a nice clean edge right there. All right, now we're gonna start hanging them up. Okay, so after we marked everything, cut the L channel to size. We're just putting in the screws. You can either pre-drill right through the metal. If we have a good impact driver, you can just go straight through. High protection. So right there, we're marked, we're level. I'll hold it in place. And then we'll tighten it up. All right, and notice the placement is right underneath this little lip right here. And now it's nice and secure. So we're gonna start the L channel on the other side. Same process, laser measure, make sure it's all level. And then we'll cut to size and we'll start hanging the L channels. Just quickly showing you, we're going around the corner here. Make sure you get the screws securely into a stud. As we're going around the corner, we've already marked and leveled. One L channel just sits into the other. All right, we're gonna line it up with all the markings we made, making it nice and level. And then we're gonna secure this into the studs. All right, so after we've secured the L channel all the way around the room, we're actually just gonna take a piece of string and a little nail, and we're gonna use that to keep our alignment correct with the other side of the basement. So I've tied a string around the nail. I line it up on the other side. I'm just gonna tuck it up behind there. And that's gonna help guide our first main beam going across. So that's gonna guide the main T. So with the main T, we cut it the same way with the tin snips. We also give it a little bit of a angled cut coming off. That way if the wall bows out a little bit, it'll still sit nice in there. On the other side, we're just going to cut this tab off right here. Okay, and we'll leave that tab on if we're going to interlock this within another channel. But since we're butting this right up against the wall within the existing L brackets, we just cut that straight off. So we have two T's up right now. Just a quick note, you want to make your cuts on the same side, so that way when you connect them and do the four foot T's, the holes will all line up because they're six inches on one and 12 inches on the other. So you just make your cuts on the same side. All right, we're putting in our crossbars now. The tiles we're using are two feet by four feet. So we're gonna look right here at these slots, six inches apart each one. So six, one foot, six, two feet. I'm just gonna insert the tab right into the slot. And you're gonna hear it snap. And the same thing on this side, you can actually see from the back, I line up the slot and when you push it, you hear that snap in. Now it's securely in. All right, so in the event that you put the T-bar into the wrong spot, all you need to do is rotate it out and pull, and you can separate it and reinsert it into the correct position. And again, when you put it in, it'll just snap right in, make sure it's in the right spot, and it goes nice and straight across. All right, so once everything is squared up, we're gonna take these eye bolts. We're gonna put them right above center. Ideally, you wanna do this every four feet. So I'm gonna secure this with the impact driver. Then I take the wire, I'm gonna wrap it around. That's gonna give the extra support to the middle of the ceiling because we have a bit of a long run here. So I have my spot right here. I'm just gonna put it straight in. All right, and then we're gonna tie our wire around and tie it right into the main center stack. 
All right, so after the eye bolts in, we're just gonna take our wire. I'm gonna loop it through. And the code here is three wraps, so we're just gonna take it and do minimum of three wraps around itself. One, two, three. Here we go. And then we're gonna take it right through and right about there you can see it's, it's holding the weight right there. If I let go, the whole beam moves down. So I'm gonna hold the weight right about there. I'll wrap it nice and tight. All right, minimum three again. And if you need a little bit more, you can grab it down here and twist the entire piece to get it tighter. But right there is pretty solid. It's holding the weight really well. And like I said, ideally you want to put these bolts in with the wire about every four feet. As you go across, that's going to give great support to your drop ceiling. All right, once you have everything square, you can actually use this clamp right here. It's going to clamp right on to the L joint and the T, snap down. And now this is secure. So the next step is going to be, I'm going to take the drill, I'm going to drill a pilot hole right here through the L bracket and the T. And then once I have a hole through both of these pieces, I'm going to snap a pop rivet in right here. And that's going to hold everything in place. All right, so we're going to drill the pilot hole right here. All right, so we went up through the L channel and through the T. And now we're going to put our pop rivet in here and that's going to hold this whole piece into place. All right, so we're gonna use the pop rivet gun. We're gonna insert the rivet straight up into the hole and it's gonna squish it into place permanently. So we just drop this right in here and we line it up. So you go put through both the L channel and the T. I'm gonna give it a couple of pumps. Now we squeeze it and we'll squish it into place and then it will snap off and now we have a nice permanent rivet for our drop ceiling. So after you have your pop rivets in and you have everything all secured, last step is to put the tiles in. So we're just going to go in at an angle and there's nice clearance here so you actually go in right above, get into position. Then each tile is just going to drop right in. And that's it, that's how you do your drop ceiling. You're just going to repeat each of these steps, do your two long runs, your four foot connectors, pop rivet, secure it with the <coughs> eye bolt and the line, and then your ceiling will look like this on the finished side, which you've already done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out at greaterctrealestate.com.